This is one of the earlier TV interviews that Emma White did when Nicola was still missing. So let's watch and see what she says. On the 27th of January, with me now is Emma White, one of Nicola Bully's friends. Emma, this is just heartache for you, for the whole community over the last two weeks, but you're staying strong and hoping that today you will get some new information. Yeah, we came out a week ago and we're back, in, back out today, so two weeks to just jog anybody's memory that might have those key bits of information. We can see now the flurry of traffic going on and this is the key piece of road that we're looking for. So Nikki went into the gates to go on her walk and there's no footage of that gate so we're just trying to get dash cam footage. The police have also done number recognition so people have had letters that were here. So hopefully with us being out in force today, the number plate recognition we do get some information that we vitally need. Yeah, the police said earlier this week that they have contacted 700 drivers of vehicles that crossed over this area that day on Friday the 27th of January and your hope today is that perhaps just somebody wasn't aware that they could have some vital information. Yeah, I mean of all, all, the, all the media would wonder how they haven't seen the story but absolutely so they might just come through the village every two weeks so just anything, we, we just need something to, to go on. Uh, obviously it's important that you can stay strong and, and be able to, to do these interviews to try yeah. and make sure that we don't forget what's happened here at St yeah. Michael's on wire but how are you? <laughs> What's keeping us strong is obviously Nikki and Paul's children and my own children. We have to be resilient for them. Um, obviously they're aware mummy's missing, but if we all crumble and we're giving no hope to them, aren't we? And we still have that hope that Nikki's out there because we have no news. This is such a small community, a small village school uh, where Nikki and Paul's children attended. Yeah. They were dropped off that morning. Uh, you still have contact with them. How are they coping? Yeah, when they get home from school, they're asking Daddy the same question, any news, and Daddy sadly has to say no, and, and Paul said he can just see them sort of deflate, um, but kids are resilient, they, they, they've got hope, they see Mummy's picture everywhere, they say everyone's out looking for the Mummy, and we just want to bring them that news that we found Mummy and Mummy's coming home tonight to give you, put you to bed and give you those good night cuddles which every Mummy should be doing. And just behind us you can see some of the members of the community with these posters, a very clear picture of Nicola Bully's face the day she went missing and that number asking people to call 101. 101 yeah just for any information and it is just driving that awareness that somebody might see see her she might not even be in St Michael's anymore but wherever she is just just bring Nikki home. And how hard is it for you knowing that that search is extended towards the sea that they just haven't been able to find any trace of of Nikki in the river here? We have to cling on to that, that's good news, so we've had the police in there, we've had Peter and his amazing team that we want to say thank you so much for giving their time and coming their way. So I think they're both singing from the same song sheet now that she's not actually in from, from, from the bench to the weir, we categorically can rule out Nikki is not, not in there, which we've got to hold on to good news. And then you look at the theories behind that that are going into, if a victim does go in and, and drowns, the, the hypothesis is that they tend to stay where they're put. So, so we have to cling on to all these theories that I know, but we're still wanting that bit of evidence. And then I suppose that goes into a slight bit of frustration that the police, the mountain rescue, we've had Peter, we've had the community, we've had you guys all pulling together, working as a team, yet we still have no information. So that's where the frustration comes from. And when you work as hard as everyone needs to do it, we need a reward and that would be Nikki. Well, let's just hope that the team here are able to get some information today. If you have anything that you haven't yet shared with Lancashire Police...